Hello guys, welcome back to the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed the inheritance. <laughs> yeah, Alright, so in this tutorial we're gonna learn more about inheritance only and if you have understood if, and if you have completely understood inheritance from the last tutorial you can move on to the next tutorial. However, this tutorial would help you gain more insight into inheritance and would help you to understand it more if you have missed something in the last tutorial. This inheritance thing is just as we have in humans like uh, son would inherit from father and the grandson would inherit from son and from father so basically that is the same concept in computing uh, in the previous tutorial we created three classes shape square and triangle square and triangle inherited the coordinates from shape class and uh, yeah that was it so in this tutorial we are gonna learn more about inheritance and stuff like that so well what we're gonna do first of all is we are gonna do inheritance, I mean about animals in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be having an animal class and below that, I mean in a, an organism class and when an organism can survive. Yeah, so uh, it, it would just have a boolean value is alive, something like that. And then below it, we would have a uh, thingy, another class called um, uh, terrestrial organization, uh, organ organism, and it would have uh, uh, a, an integer variable called number of legs, and then we would have another uh, class called human, and it would have an integer called intelligence. Now, what we're going to do is that we are going to inherit. I mean. Yeah, so let's just start doing, and uh, I should stop talking, you know. Okay, so I'm just going to create organism. And organism class would have a uh, public variable. Uh, public int, not boolean. Is false by default, but... Uh, um, and we are not going to put anything in the cl constructor, so... Now, what we're going to do next is that we are going to create another class. terrestrial organism and what we're gonna do is that we are gonna it's just gonna extend organism and terrestrial organism and it's gonna have uh, a public Okay, so what we're gonna so is extending the organism class and and we're initializing the super class which is organism. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have another class called, as I said, uh, intelligent organism. And this would extend. God damn my spelling. R E S T R E R. What? Extend. Okay. Now. Okay, and you already did put it for me and. Okay, so what what we have done here is that we have a hierarchy. I mean, if you if you have a chain here, 
organism and then we have terrestrial organism and then we have intelligent organism so an intelligent organism has legs and is alive and a terrestrial organism doesn't have intelligence and it's alive and the organism uh, neither has legs nor it has intelligence but it is alive so that's the way it's gonna work and what we can do is that we are gonna create a class called tutorial 10 tutorial 10 and uh, let me just do it and in this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an intelligent organism organism uh, myself <laughs> equal new intelligent organism and intelligence, of course, 100 out of 100. <laughs> and number of legs, um, I have two legs. Okay, so two. And uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get all the data from the intelligent organism. And I'm going to just print it out. So uh, number of, of legs no, is alive. Dot is alive. See, I can access it properly. And if you see the documenter, it says tutorials dot organism. So organism class has this has this attribute, and I can access it through the intelligent organism class because it is inherited, and that's the only reason. So I'm just going to say this, and and then I'm just going to say uh, is okay a uh, number. number of legs and number of intelligence intelligence percentage and okay now we now I'm just gonna run this thing to show you guys how it is works so now I'm alive I have two legs and I have percentage of intelligence high hundred yeah so as you see, all the properties of the organism is inherited by the terrestrial organism, which is inherited by intelligent organism. Now, if I create a terrestrial organism, uh, lion, terrestrial organism, and it's four legs. And if I do lion dot intelligence, it, there is no property called intelligence. There just is live and number of legs. Is live property is part of organism class, which is inherited by this terrestrial organism class, and number of legs it is is its own property. So, so I think this would make you a lot more clearer if, if you haven't understand the previous tutorial about how inheritance really works, and. Uh, basically, if you if you I mean if you think that you you're still a bit confused about this, let me know, email it to me, or comment on the video below, and I'll try my best to make another tutorial on it, or I'll try my best to get back to you and answer your questions if you have any. So see you guys in the next tutorial, which is going to be more about object orientation and more concepts about it, and I'll see you then. So enjoy and have a good time with intelligence. Uh, sorry. Uh, what was that? In intelligence or intelligence? Hmm. Okay. Have a good time. I was gonna say something. With inheritance. Sorry. Okay. Have a good time with inheritance and intelligence. I mean, your intelligence would probably increase. Okay. So I mean, it would increase. <laughs> and I'm not saying that you're low, but I mean, you would be more smarter after you learn inheritance. Okay. So see you guys later and have a good time. Bye bye.